Let me illustrate. A podcast series putting the spotlight on board game artists. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Douglas, but I'm better known as Kitty Cat Maniac or Kitty. Uh, I've only recently become a board artist thanks to Book of Villainy, but I've been a professional illustrator for over 15 years. I suppose I became a board game artist because, uh, well, it was something new. I've actually never illustrated a board game until last year, but I'd happily do it again. The art style I'm best known for, it's a little bit difficult to call. I have so many. <laughs> uh, I've been known to draw really cute and colorful characters, like stuff right out of a Lisa Frank coloring book. But I can also draw like really creepy and ominous stuff. So I kind of like to keep people on their toes. <laughs> I don't want people to think that I have just one specific style, but I suppose if I had to have a signature style, uh, most people would recognize my work based on the colors that I use. It's got, I've got a lot of bright neon colors. I love using neon in my work. I, I think that would <laughs> if you if you've seen my stuff, you'd point out you you you'd know how to point me out if it's got a lot of neon colors in it. <laughs> uh, the bit that I'm most proud of in Book of Villainy is the diversity. I'm so glad that there was a collection of different ethnicities and styles. Protessa and Andrew were really awesome in letting me explore different avenues, and they super encouraged me to keep the characters diverse. So huge props to them. I'd say that I like creating art that makes people feel a number of emotions, like depending on the subject matter, of course. I usually get like happy and excited feedback from people who share similar interests in color. For those who are a little bit of, uh, who are a little unaware of my horror stuff, <laughs> I get a lot of unease and like sometimes I get a little creeped out with the work that I make. <laughs> But I suppose that's what I'm going for. I, I, I want you to feel like you can keep looking at my work and never get bored of it. Like there's always something new you can find in, in the piece. My inspiration is a, another hard thing to pinpoint. Um, sometimes there's, there's days that I can't draw for beans. And I'm sure every artist has been there. But then there's times where I'll wake up at like 2 a.m. in a cold sweat and just paint a unicorn shooting lasers out of its eyes. I, I don't know where that comes from. It, it It's out of nowhere. It's out of the blue. I I wouldn't be able to, to tell anybody how my artistic process really works. <laughs> if, if anybody else has it figured out, please let me know. I, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> I think at one point I was chugging cans of Red Bull and just belting out art for conventions. I, I, but I don't remember a lot of the art I made during that time. So I wouldn't recommend caffeine as inspiration. Stay hydrated, folks. Uh, since Book of Villainy was my first board game, I learned a lot at once. But the most important thing I think I learned was that you're going to make a lot of mistakes. And there's going to be a lot of things that get in the way. But you really have to push through. I, I, there are times where I was just like, I, I don't know if this looks right. I don't know if I, I, I've drawn exactly what they're looking for. But a lot of communication and a, a lot of back and forth, we, we, we got it down. And that was really helpful making the board game. I think the most challenging part of it for me was keeping the style consistent. <laughs> Sometimes I, my, my hand deviates and I, <laughs> it, it, it got a little difficult, but I managed to wrangle, wrangle my hand back to the right path. We, we, we got it all tied together, which I, I really appreciate Andrew and for, for Tessa's patience with me on that. Book of Villainy took a solid four months of work, I think, if I try to condense it. I really poured myself into it. If anyone knows me, I love drawing villains. So I really wanted to put my best work forward for that project. In my view, more board game 
artwork. Like, I feel like you should use a lot of... <laughs> it, it depends on the person, obviously. Like, you, you, it's whoever is drawing the piece. Whoever is drawing it, whoever is commissioning the work. You, you know what you want. Personally, I, I like using bright colors. Not that I'm, I'm biased or anything, you know? <laughs> I have so many artists that I admire. Oh man, the list is so long. Uh, I I can see a few of their usernames of like artists that I I follow religiously. I'm not gonna list them all here because I oh my gosh I have like a a big book of artists who I admire. Um, the top ones from my head: uh, Big Zergretti, The Blue Bear Twenty Seven, Vari You Very, Doodle Lust. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many. I can't name them all. I'm sorry, guys. I hope I can give a list somewhere. I have so many people who keep me drawing every day. I look up to them a lot. My favorite color... Uh, is it possible to have a favorite color anymore? <laughs> I have a favorite color palette. It's usually like dark, almost monochrome colors with one pop of neon color. Like usually a bright blue, green, or pink. I, I, I have, I have a favorite color palette. Like that's, that's, that's my palette. <laughs> I can't, I, nobody has a favorite color anymore. How, how can you pick just one? <laughs> if anyone else wanted to become a board game artist, I tell them go for it. Of course. I had so much fun helping with the book of villainy. Like, being new to the board game scene, I, I knew I was going to make a few mistakes, but I would suggest to anybody else trying to get into board game illustrations, uh, know yourself, know your style, keep your head up, even if you feel like you're making a couple of mistakes, people are willing to work with you, and you're among friends, and if you have fun making the game, it'll show, people will notice. Uh, anyone who wants to get in touch with me can usually find me at Kitty Cat Maniac. That is K I T T Y K A T M A N I A C on uh, pretty much any platform. I've gotten really busy in the past few months working in a new and awesome job designing toys, uh, but I'll do my best to answer when and where I can. I, I really do hope that everybody enjoys Book of Villainy. I, God, it's such an awesome game. Have a groovy time playing it. Uh, hey, if you like it, let us know. Oh, yeah, let us know which villain you pick. <laughs> and hey, thanks for supporting the project. I really do hope you have a great time. See you guys around. Bye. This podcast was made possible by the generous help of my Patreon supporters. Royal Patron, Sean Newman Castle Guards, David Miller and James Naylor Dice Masters, Alex Bardi Paul Grogan and Robin Kay and Shining Lights, Gavin Jones, Sarah Reed, Richard Simpson and Tim Vernick <laughs>